Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the spinning soda can. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a string, nail, uh, soda cans, hammer, and some water. First, we'll go through the setup. I could use any kind of string, shoelace, uh, soda cans. Um, you want the tab that's going to be pulled up. You're just going to take your string, right? Um, and the length is going to determine how high you hang it. Um, you're just going to tie it in a single straight knot. Just one loop is good as long as it's going to hold it and you're good to go there. I'm going to have five different experiments where I'm going to use three different size nails to see the outcome. So we're going to make four holes into the can, the bottom of the can. So I'm using the large nail first. I marked the bottom of the can so I know exactly where I want to put the nail holes. So you're going to put them straight in at first. So you could either use a hammer or just push it in, but be careful the nails are sharp. I'm going to push this one in towards the bottom of the can, and it's just a straight hole right there. Uh, the trick after that is you want to angle them. So you put it in, and then you're going to angle the hole, uh, angle the nail facing one direction. So all four holes are going to angle the same direction, which is going to spin the can. And do the last one right here, and it's angled. So my setup here, PVC pipe, a ladder, a little duct tape. Simply, you just need to hang the string down so it doesn't touch the ground. Uh, you don't have to make this. You can just have something that already existing. Uh, that's your setup, and you're ready to go. Experiment one with the large nails. You can see it emptied out very, very quick. Um, so we're going to try a medium uh, nail. And we're going to do the same setup where you're just putting the holes in and angle it just like that. Um, and you do all four. So we're doing four again with the medium. Um, and once we get that all set up, we will dip it in the bucket. Experiment two with the medium nails, four holes. Um, you dip the can in the bucket, fill it completely, take it out, and you can see it's not spinning as fast, but it is spinning a little bit longer because the water's not coming out as fast. So pretty cool there. So here it is in slow motion. And the science behind the spinning soda can is by angling the holes at the bottom of the edge of the can, now we let the power of gravitational pull do its thing. The pressure of the water pours out at the angle of the holes and it makes the can spin. So having the holes on the bottom allows it a longer spinning and push the can faster. Experiment number four, here we are, we're using the smallest nails and you can see it spins a lot slower here and it actually lasts a lot longer because the less water is pouring out but it does not gain that spinning as fast as we did with the larger holes. Experiment number four, four large nail holes but none of them are angled so you see it spins a little bit going there but it actually just empties out right away and there's hardly any spinning. All right, experiment number five is just one large nail hole with its angled, and it, you actually see it lasts a little longer. It's coming out pretty quick, but it does spin pretty quick. So even one hole still allows the gravitational pull to force that spinning can. Um, if you enjoyed this video, remember to click thumbs up and to share and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, just let it out. Like, go check out that video. And that video. Yeah. Oh, and also, like, way down there, there's a red button to subscribe. And what about these videos? And click on these two videos at the same time. And those two videos, and these videos, and yeah.